Nawab Niazi sold land and a home in order to start up his textile company 14 years ago. He says he has since invested half a million dollars in the factory. Both Afghan and foreign companies used to buy the clothes and scarves it makes. But business has virtually ground to a halt in recent weeks. When the Taliban took control of Afghanistan in August, the US froze nearly $10 billion of Afghan assets held abroad. And Taliban leaders were forced to restrict cash withdrawals from local banks. The Taliban government has to reopen the financial institutes so people can withdraw enough money to buy materials for their businesses. And the international community needs to soften their attitude. This stalemate badly affects everyday Afghan people. Abdul Qadir is one of the factory's few employees who still comes to work unpaid. He fought the Soviet army when it invaded Afghanistan in the 1980s. He never dreamed he would still be struggling to support his family 40 years later. The country is in a terrible state. The security situation has improved, but there are no jobs. There's no happiness in life, no joy. The country is a mess. The factory employs around 30 women who work in a separate room from the men. Some employees fled the country on evacuation flights when the Taliban took control. Nawab shows me a video of men he used to pay to collect wool for him in the northern city of mazar -e sharif and So we can't afford them right now? Around 80 people are employed at this factory, but as you can see, it's just down today to a skeleton staff. And one of the big problems the company is facing is that one of its main overseas clients is refusing to buy the products that this company makes because the taxes that this company will pay on the profits that it makes now go to the new Taliban government. Foreign companies are nervous about dealing with their Afghan business partners. That's because foreign governments won't recognize the Taliban government as some of its members are on terrorism and UN sanction lists. 29-year-old entrepreneur Abdul Wali spent a million dollars on what he says is the largest wool spinning machine in Afghanistan. He finally got it up and running three months ago, but was forced to suspend operations earlier this month because foreign and local clients cancelled orders and some investors fled the country with their cash. I had big plans to buy more machinery. I am dedicated to my community, but the current situation is hopeless. All my employees are forced to sit at home because I cannot pay them. Noab says he wants to help his workers' families and build a new Afghanistan. For the time being, he and many Afghan business owners like him have no choice but to put their dreams on hold.